There we are, all my pencils sharpened. Mm -hmm. I can put my pencil sharpener away in its own little box that I've made. That's neat. But come to think of it, I don't really need to put that away. What I need now is a box for the pencils. <laughs> so let's take that away and get rid of that and do something surprising with this box. Let's crush it like this, mm -hmm. turn it round, find the opening on this side, push it like that, and lo and behold, it's not a box for a pencil sharpener, it's now a box which will take my sharpened pencils. Same box, different shape. Three. How did you make it change form? Well, it's actually uh, really quite a surprisingly simple trick, and I'll show you in a tick, but in the meantime, have a look at these. Rob, that's an amazing little contraption. Part of the time it's a long, thin box, but it can also be a short, fat box. It's two in one. Yes, but how volume. do you make it? Well, it's very simple, and uh, have a look closely. You don't need many things. Just uh, start with a piece of paper. This is fairly thick paper. It works mm -hmm. quite well. And make sure it's got a nice right-angle corner there. Now, with a wide ruler, let's go across and draw four lines, all parallel to each other, all one ruler's width. That's one. Two, two, three, three, and four. You really have to make sure you're accurate, otherwise the thing will be skew with. Okay. Now you put that to one side and take a narrow ruler. This is about half the width. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but that's what this one is. And work in the other direction from the bottom up. One, two. two. So you're making a whole lot of rectangles. That's right. In mm. fact, I'm making 16 because I'm using four lines here mm -hmm. as well. Four by four. And if that's been nicely accurately done, I've got exactly that, a sort of lozenge of 16 rectangles. So you cut away the surplus. Cut that away mm -hmm. and then use a sharp point, a knife or point of scissors to score along all those lines so that they really allow fold the paper easily. to fold carefully. Mm -hmm. Well, I've done that accurately and that's the result. You can see that's the lozenge there and it folds nicely on every one of those uh, little sort of creases. Now, do you use the whole thing? Yes, uh, not really. You actually, you, you knock out this corner. It doesn't really matter which corner, but we'll say this top right-hand corner here. Knock out those four rectangles. rectangles leaving 12 rectangles. That's right. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're in the shape of the letter L. And this is how you put it together. Put it down so it is like the letter L, yes. and it uh, really is easy to follow then. Take the toe of it and bend it back to make that side. And if you've done mm -hmm. it accurately, it'll come back pretty well. At that point, hold it together, use some sticky tape, and just stick those two together, mm -hmm. like that. So that's a tube. That's, in fact, going to be the, the short squat one. Mm -hmm. Now you take the top of the eel and bend it over behind. Backwards. Yes. And you stick this down. This is the only tricky part. Not to both those pieces that you'll find there. But just the centre one. Just the one lying beside it there. Mm -hmm. I'll just do it very quickly here. You yeah. can do it more neatly, of and course, And that'll make the long, thin box. Well, it will if you push it in the right direction, because that's now the short, fat box like that. Mm -hmm. If I squash it and then look at the end, poke my finger in there, it becomes a tall, thin box. With a bit of squishing, you'll neaten the whole thing up. A very versatile little it machine. It is indeed, <laughs> and very easily made. You can try it at home. But that's all we have time for now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.